cheer from the side to the back. Oh, my mother will love that. Side of me that they've not seen before. The wings on her back. I have a tattoo on my back she doesn't like. So if adding a lace bolero doesn't help, Katie's walking out about a dress. But I won't hold back if I don't think something's right for me. What do we think now? I'm just thinking that I really like the dress. Well, just below the knee and have a retro Hollywood. I think judging by the reaction when I walked in, I think they like. Number three, mother and bride clash over lace. There has been a recent uptick in the number of people opting to celebrate their weddings with a carnival themed theme, which is both a fun and original way to commemorate the occasion. With a funfair theme, there are a lot of ways to add fun and whimsical themes into the wedding, from vivid colors and playful decorations to funfair activities and food. I'm Katie, I'm 22 from South Bath. Dressings and heels definitely aren't my thing on a normal day-to-day -day basis. But look at all these sequins. I cannot say that. Give people a shock factor and see something different, different side of me that they've not seen before. Hello, I'm Zoe. I'm going to help you. you today. Who have you brought with you? Hi, yeah. I brought my best friend, Ellen. Hello. Nice to meet you. So, what is it that you're looking for, really? Put a few behind me. She knows what I want, don't you? Really? No. I'd like to see Kate, but she never agrees on my fashion style. Having sort of like a carnival fairground theme wedding. Wow. wow. It's going to be fun. These components may all be incorporated into the wedding in a variety of different ways. The chore of selecting a dress for a wedding can be challenging, particularly when there are contrasting points of view on the style. In the case of Katie, she wanted a dress that was straightforward and easy to move around in, whereas her mother was searching for a more conventional bridal appearance that included lace. The quest started with a budget of £1,000 left by her nun. And the first dress by Justin Alexander, which was valued at £1,450, was a combination of the two styles. Katie cherished the dress's ability to move freely. OK, it sounds like a lot of fun. When we were younger. Um, and how much are you looking to spend on your dress today? I'm looking to stick around the £1,000 budget. Um, and who's going to be paying for your gown today? For me to pay for my dress. OK, so Nan's not with us, unfortunately. So me and my Nan were really close. <laughs> I'm a big fan of tea land skirts. Well, just below the knee and have a retro Hollywood feel is to find one which makes Katie look fun, but is traditional enough for Mum. I really like the freedom. I feel like I can move. How do you feel about the lace on this? I don't know if it's a little bit too much lace. Yeah, I love every part of it. I do like it because it looks lacy enough. I'd agree with Jane. Yeah, the same. But the intricate lace work was too much for her taste. In contrast, Katie's mother thought the dress was an excellent example of a classic bridal appearance. However, Katie's pals felt that it wasn't exactly in line with her personal aesthetic. Katie's unique sense of style was beautifully reflected in the second dress that we tried on, which was designed by Alfred Sung and cost £190. She loved how it made her feel especially lovely, but her mother didn't think it was appropriate for a bride since she thought it was too plain and simple. The process of selecting a wedding dress became fraught with tension as differing viewpoints were expressed. However, they made a decision to test out a lace blouse, and to their utter astonishment, both Katie and her mother found that they favored the garment. I'm not happy with a lacy one. Hear my mum say that she doesn't love it like I do. How does that make you feel? Should I have said that? She can't get married in that. Dead set against his tea length dress because it's not late, or stand her ground. Yeah, it's across the shoulder. I think I prefer it without. About the belt. So with this on now, how do you feel? I didn't think you could top it. Now you've got the lace on there as well. We think that mum could have been right, because I do prefer this. Katie, in the end, was successful in combining her personal taste with that of her mother, and the two of them settled on the lace blouse as the best option. It is essential to keep in mind that the decision about the wedding dress belongs to the bride in the end. However, it is also essential to take into consideration the viewpoints of those who are dear to the bride. It is possible to find a beautiful wedding dress that satisfies the bride as well as her loved ones if the bride is patient, open-minded, and willing to compromise. I love it. I do love it. I love it. Now Zoe's put the lace top. It's absolutely perfect. Is it cheaper without the top? <laughs> the gown itself is £190. And the bolero is actually more than a dress. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the price of this dress. Now we can spend more money on the wedding. But well, what do you think Nan would think of this dress and bolero? Hi. Do you say yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, clash of opinions. When it comes to picking the ideal wedding dress, it is not uncommon for mothers and daughters to have disagreements with one another. 
While mothers frequently have their own ideas about what they believe their daughters ought to wear on their daughter's special day, girls typically want a dress that expresses their own unique sense of style and preference. David Emmanuel has a reputation for finding the perfect dress for every bride, regardless of their style or budget. I've got my sister, who's my maid of honor, but my mom, who's very glamorous. Oh, that's beautiful. I could wear that. <laughs> Whose wedding is this? We do have to keep reminding her because she likes we say my dad's created a monster. Madison and her mother's disagreement on what style of dress to choose for her wedding is a common issue that many brides face. However, David is confident that he can help them find a dress that they both love. During Madison's appointment with David, they discussed her preferences and needs for her wedding dress, as well as her mother's vision. David listened carefully to both of them, and he suggested dresses that incorporate both styles. He suggested a dress that would be comfortable for Madison to move around in during her surprise dance choreography while also incorporating the winter wonderland look that her mother was after. But I won't hold back if I don't think something's right for Madison. I just think it's hideous. My mom and I, we have a very good relationship. As long as I'm aware that my mom still wears the crown. Hi, Hi. you're Madison. Yes. So Winter Wonderland, yes. how do you think you want to look? And glitzy? Very glitzy, Oh, yes. So <laughs> glitter and, and the biggest skirt we can find yes. in the store. Yes, I'd got a vision of two dresses in one. Madison tried on a few dresses and she fell in love with the first dress suggested by Randy Finoli. She felt like a princess in the dress, but her mother wasn't impressed, even after removing the shirt that was paired with it. However, David knew that it was important for Madison to feel happy and comfortable on her special day, and he continued to suggest dresses until they found the perfect one. When Madison tried on the second dress, she was impressed by the glitter and the overall look of the dress, but her mother didn't like it and called it a swimsuit. Madison was disappointed, but David knew that the dress had potential. For you, lovely lady, after the dress, she wants glitz and glamour. Winter Wonderland extravaganza. Yeah, the mum wants something, the daughter wants something, and I just feel... Our ice queen has yeah. arrived. Enough bling for you? Could always be more bling, but I feel like a princess. I think, judging by the reaction when I walked in, I think they like this. I think the silhouette. A toilet roll cover. Toilet roll cover. Yeah. yeah. He had some alterations, such as adding a lining to the dress, and this turned her mother's opinion around. In the end, Madison found the perfect dress that made her feel comfortable, beautiful, and confident on her special day. David's ability to listen to both Madison and her mother and suggest dresses that incorporated both styles helped them find a dress that they both loved. Madison's mother realized that it was important for her daughter to be happy on her special day, and she put aside her own opinions to ensure that Madison got the dress of her dreams. I can't say yes to a dress. What do we think now? Do we need to know the price first, Mum? I love it. I love it with the panel. I love it with the veil. And I think that's what's missing. Sparkle! Number 1. Bride's Tattoo Every bride's wedding day is a momentous occasion in her life that she will never forget. She has been daydreaming about this day for years, visualizing every aspect of it, even finding the ideal clothing for the occasion. On the other hand, it is not uncommon for brides and their mothers to have clash of opinions on the selection of the bridal gown. It is crucial to understand the reasons behind the conflict and how to settle it, even though this may be a difficult and emotional moment for both sides. My name is Samantha Hendrickson, my aunt and my sister in the group. She holds her on what she says a lot of the time. Something very A-line, slinky, is very unique. Not something that a lot of people have seen. The wings on her back. I have a tattoo on my back she doesn't like. She wants to cover them, I don't. They're ugly. When Samantha's mother sees her daughter as a bride with her back tattoo, she gives her daughter a disapproving look. Samantha's mother is intent on concealing the tattoo, which she views as an ugly that would spoil the bridal gown. But Samantha is delighted to discover the dress of her dreams for her wedding. In spite of her mother's adamant opposition, Samantha is insistent about wearing a dress that will highlight the tattoo she has. While looking through the clothes, Samantha makes the suggestion that she should try on a shorter dress, but her mother strongly opposes the idea and insists that she should wear a traditional long gown instead. The tension between them rises to a higher level when Samantha tries on a long gown by Reem Akra that reveals her tattoo. 
When you get married, those wings are going to ruin your gown. Long and flowing. Tell me about the fiance. The theme is very rustic. The budget. Two to five. Are you ready to have some? Now, I noticed as we were walking back, you had your eye on a gown doesn't necessarily mean something long. Hello, okay. beautiful. Hello. We have sheer from the side to the back. Oh, my mother will love that. It's just so different. OK. Let's get have started. Fun, ladies. So we're going to have to see what mom thinks about Samantha showing off her tattoo. Her mother is shocked, and while pointing out the visible wings on the tattoo, which she views to be a deal breaker, she expresses her horror to her daughter. After that, Samantha gives a shorter dress a shot, and much to her daughter's astonishment, her mother approves of the way the wings complement the look of the dress. In spite of this, she continues to insist on wearing a lengthy gown. As the argument becomes increasingly contentious, the bridal consultant steps in and advises of fixing a skirt that can be removed from the shorter dress. Both the mother and the daughter finally give in and grudgingly agree to the compromise, but Samantha is unhappy with it since she insists that the dress should be worn as is without any adjustments. You have a very good idea. Let's see oh, if we can find you. it. Camille has a great idea. She's putting a sheer tulle skirt over the short drawer bridal, and hopefully that will make mom happy. Hey, bye bye. I like it. I love it. I have a short wedding gown. I love that. I like the idea of the tool and the belt. I'm in love with the dress, and my mom's in love with the dress. I like it like this again. Oh, wow, wait. This is a ball gown. <laughs> As they proceed with their search, Samantha tries on a ball gown, but her mother immediately dismisses it as not being in keeping with her taste. They went back and forth about it for a while, but in the end, they came to an agreement on the shorter dress, and Samantha even agreed to take off the skirt for part of the photographs. In the end, the argument has left a foul taste in both mother and daughter's mouths, and Samantha is left wondering whether her mother's obsession with the tattoo was more about her power over the wedding than anything else. However, she is well aware that this is her big day, and she is prepared to do whatever it takes in order to feel beautiful and content while wearing her wedding dress. This includes disobeying her mother's instructions if necessary. Which one do you feel the most beautiful in that you've had on so far? The short one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's try the short okay. one on again. Okay. I'm not really considering the other people's opinion. It's fun and different. So for a couple of pictures, what's the difference? Yeah. Oh. For me to please my mom. For me, you'll get the tool and I'll put it on. So are we saying yes to this dress? Yes, we are. Yeah. That's all for today, folks. See you another time.